With the September 22nd ODST MCC update, it may just corrupt some of your favorite films. So in this video, we're going to tell you exactly how to avoid that. A leaked Halo Infinite weapon confirming that the Forerunners are returning? Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving our news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these news and informational videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the channel so more people get a chance to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. As we gear up to the excitement of ODC releasing onto PC and also Firefight coming to Xbox and PC as well, there is one thing you guys must do before that game is actually released or at least until you, before you update your MCC version. So it looks like you're going to have to save your Halo 2 anniversary and your Halo 3 video files before you take on this update as in those videos may become corrupt and invalid so if you have some sick awesome clip you've always been meaning to share or something you've always wanted to hold on to as an awesome game moment you're gonna want to need to find ways to save that right now since 343 has gone into the MCC and updated Halo 3's version where like obviously you can have the better hit registration and also season 3 content like visors and skins it actually invalidates previous saved files because they had to do a content update to the game itself and so when the game tries to read it it goes whoa this doesn't match what's going on here so yeah they mentioned about this uh, this is yeah very much a pain for players to deal with but it comes with a lot of gain because we're getting that Halo 3 update when it comes to its hit detection on uh, all the customization and plus we're getting ODST with Firefly on top of all that as well so that's also quite the gain on top of that they also do mention for all you campaign people or if you guys been grinding through the campaign maybe play on legendary like I'll oh, get to that point later later you're gonna want to need to finish that mission at least before you continue on because they do mention about how a lot of uh, checkpoints throughout the campaign will be reset as well as this, this is a pretty standard thing whenever there's a content update to the game like this we have like a new game coming in like a major patch needs to be implemented into the mcc this is a pretty standard procedure again it sucks but uh not i don't think a lot of people are going to be uh bothered by this me personally i won't be really be bothered by this because normally i finish my campaign missions within the time that they need to be completed in so please make sure you save your files on your computer or in some way you can figure it out and also make sure you complete that campaign mission if you're in the stuck in the middle of it be meaning to get back to it later on because when ODST releases onto the MCC and you update your MCC, those are going to be either reset or corrupted. Next on the news, guys, we have a Halo Infinite weapon that has been leaked to us. And also, it could possibly signify the return of the Forerunners or Prometheans as well. Recent picture taken within a store of the Armament Blaster you can see right here. The, that's a Halo toy right there in the store. Probably something you would find straight from the game. At least I would expect to have it be in there because, you know, obviously the Halloween season is coming right around us. People are going to want to dress up like their favorite Halo characters. Halo's going to want to capitalize on that mer merchandise sales. And so that would make sense if you put this in the store right now. Now, this weapon is known as the Armament Blaster, which I feel like is a rather generic name. Like, yeah, it's Armament. It's a weapon. That's what it is. And it, it shoots things. So it's a blaster, I guess. The, I'm guessing when you call it a blaster, it kind of means more that it's kind of more of a hand cannon uh, pistol kind of weapon. I mean, kind of some, maybe something kind of like a Forerunner version of what we see for like a plasma pistol or something like that, or like a bolt shot. Though when I look at this weapon, to me, it just screams Forerunner tech as they have the same kind of color scheme as you would see for the Forerunners, at least for structure wise, with the, with the grays, dark grays, and the blue mixed in there as well. Pretty much the exact same color scheme as we've seen for all the beam emitters that we've seen throughout uh, Halo Infinite's trailers and also within the world itself. And also with the general simplicity and and rather geometric shapes that are used with this weapon. It does very much look like something you would see the Forerunners use. Now, does this mean we're fighting the Forerunners? Are the Forerunners fighting with us? Are we bringing the Prometheans back? Are we killing those guys? Or are they fighting with us? We don't know. I mean, with Halo Infinite being placed on Zeta Halo, the possibilities really are, well, Pardon the pun, but infinite. Now this weapon was not confirmed at all throughout the reveals in July when it comes to Halo Infinite as well. So uh, this was actually kind of uh, teased months and months ago uh, on the, I believe the Target website, just kind of, sh you know, putting placeholders of things that were going to be put in the market eventually. And now it's officially like in a store for people to buy and we have no idea what it is. So, you know, now that the uh, release date has been pushed to 2021, you know what that means? We're back to toy reveals, guys. 
Bringing it back, the old school style. I think just having this weapon revealed does showcase more than just saying that like, oh, it's a new weapon within the game. I think this pretty much essentially confirms that the Forerunners in some capacity are gonna be returning as possibly a faction within the game that you either have to shoot or shoot with, one of those two, or at least some form of Prometheans, you know, it's because we do not really know exactly how uh, that faction is going to be implemented within the Halo Infinite story, because we know that Banished is in there, we know the UNSC is in there, but what about everybody else? That's kind of all up in the air. So to recap, make sure you save your files, guys. Keep an eye out for more Halo Infinite leaks. What are your thoughts about that Infinite Blaster? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys want to see some more content like this, check out the videos on the screen right over here. And I greatly appreciate checking out the videos. So thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.